Uh, did, did you know going into the weekend that you were you were close to that milestone goal? Is that even? I mean, any guys to talk to you about it during the uh, weekend? Or you know, I think uh, haven't scored in a little while, so um, you know that. Uh, I think that aspect was on my mind, obviously, but you try not to get focused on that stuff. But I uh, definitely had no focus on trying to beat any personal records or, or anything like that. But, um, you know, I think kind of leading back to it feels like a while ago now, last time I scored, um, you know, someone mentioned something. But uh, when it happened, I didn't even know. So uh, you know, it was just uh, felt more important to get the win oh, and uh, to be able to contribute, obviously, and uh, kind of get back on track. So uh, kind of finding out that stuff feels felt like a lot of bonus. And, uh, you know, it was nice, obviously, to be rewarded for, uh, you know, not just contributing in the game offensively, but uh, hitting a milestone like that. Have you ever been on a pairing where you and your partner score a combined five goals in one game? That's I don't think that happens too often. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that was definitely something special. It kind of attributed to how the game went, or, or at least how it felt. It was a pretty crazy game. You know, uh, LT going down um, early in the game, you know, first 10 minutes, I think. And, uh, you know, we had two D in the box at one point. You know, I think uh, Swavely and I were next uh, to go out as a, a D pairing uh, in the middle of the second period. So it was a, it was a crazy, crazy game, you know. It's uh, Hagar and I, as, as partners, had five goals together. And, uh, you know, it was just one of the details of the game wasn't even maybe a highlight so it was a pretty crazy game but game but uh, glad we came out on top it seems sort of the story of this team has been you know the third period and the comebacks and and never being out of a game uh, obviously it's like the really confident group here Can you just sort of speak to that of how yeah. I mean no matter what the situation is you guys sort of feel like you're in the game and, and most times you, you come back from those those early game deficits yeah um, you know I don't, I don't think we're drawing them up that way <laughs> uh, exactly I think that's something that's a work in progress but um, you know I, I think something that speaks more towards that is the, the character and the belief that we have in this room, um, which I think is, is great to be able to channel that energy into you know a comeback and, and put into so many situations, um, second period, third period comebacks, or you know wh whatever we need to do in whatever situation we're in to be able to, to fight our way out of it. Um, I think the next step from there is learning how to you know play with a lead and start with a lead there. But like I said, it's the whole process, and, and we're learning as we go here. And um, you know it's uh, it's it's a great quality to. Have have in my opinion to find a way to win in whatever situation and uh, you know they don't ask how so uh, might be giving coach a little heart, uh, a heart attack uh, you know every time we're, we're going into the third down or something but you know I think it speaks more um, more to our team and the character that we, we've built here um, you know throughout this whole season and the adversity that we've had to fight through this year so um, you know there's a, a really big and, and great belief and real belief you know within this locker room and uh, you know, I think after a weekend like that, and a win like that in Utica, it uh, kind of speaks to us, and everyone takes a positive from that and can take that moving forward, and you know, hopefully take that into the end of the season and into playoffs. And uh, a lot of the young guys here haven't really experienced that AHL playoff push. Uh, you know, as, as a veteran, you've been on some really good teams. You sort of lend some advice to these younger guys at this time of the year, sort of. I mean, you have to sort of ride the highs and lows and, and sort of not go too yeah. far one way or the other. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I haven't been on a championship team yet, so um, I'm still learning myself. But uh, I think one of the, the most common things, um, you know, and, and the biggest example that you could do um, or, or that speaks for itself is kind of just going through everything together and kind of talking about stuff and getting everything out the open, having an environment where everyone feels safe and comfortable. And there's going to be those low times. You know, it seems like the best uh, little bit. We've not been struggling, but haven't been playing as as well as we've been capable of, but you know everyone's uh, aware of that and uh, understands that. And sometimes you're just not going to feel that great. In a, you know, not only is that hockey, but it, it feels like life too. So, um, you know, those are real things that I think uh, don't just come easy and all of a sudden they just wake up and they go away. You know, you have to fight through that and come together as a team. And it seems like that's what we've been doing and building that and getting more guys on that. And it seems like a, a process that you know, so-called younger players. Um, you know, someone myself can have, have learned throughout the years and can kind of implement that on younger players to understand that it's not an easy process and you know you're going to have to deal with adversity in all different sorts of ways so you got to fight through it and learn to accept it and you know keep fighting through it and then move forward so it uh, not only does it create to me a successful environment and, and successful teams but you know very positive and successful individuals so um, it seems to be what um, you know they want to create here in, in Philadelphia and I'm fully on board with that and that's why uh, our goals have, have aligned here. But, um, you know, there's there's definitely a lot of belief in this locker room and it seems like we've created that environment and you got to make sure we keep moving forward, uh, you know, with a positive attitude and be ready to fight whatever comes our way.